much. We're going to hear now from, uh, excuse me, Kim Gay from the, she's Staff Sergeant Kim Gay, excuse me, from the American Combat Veterans of War. Three minutes. I want to thank uh, Rich Comdina for inviting me. He captured me from the Republican group over there. I'm a Staff Sergeant United States Air Force. Um, after 20 years, I just got my 100%. Um, I grew up in San Diego. Uh, my, I was born in the Philippines and my dad's Navy, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. I represent American combat veterans of war. I did not believe in anything but challenging myself and um, I did my own paperwork. I have post-traumatic stress disorder. I was actually captured for four days in Fallujah. Now I have a record of that. Um, I was stationed at Davis Long Air Force Base with San Diego State. Grew up here in the wonderful city. I love San Diego. But I'm tired of politicians who are promising veterans like me, who now people who have post-traumatic stress disorder like me are living on the streets homeless, hungry worshiping and, and hoping that someone will feed them and help them. Wounded Warriors Foundation cares about people who have served their country, whether it's Vietnam, World War I, or World War II. And um, I challenged the system. It did not challenge me. Um, I had help from Senator John McCain. Um, I had help from Congressman Duncan Hunter. But now, after 20 years, I just got my 100% letter yesterday. I'm retired from the United States Air Force. I did my own paperwork. Um, I, I never gave up, and I want um, someone to represent me in the White House and in the city who cares about veterans, who cares about community, who cares about homelessness, and all of that. And it is an honor for me to be here today to speak on behalf of other women and men who come home. Um, Post-traumatic stress disorder is genetic, it's generational, and there are a lot of outreach programs like American Combat Veterans of War, um, DAV, um, Wounded Warriors at Camp Pendle, we care about our community, but um, I'm honored to be here. Um, I did my own paperwork, I got my DD-214, I got 17 buddy statements, and still the VA in San Diego denied me. <coughs> my package went all the way to congressional level, and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, you're coming back Kim from Davis Month, and I'm like, yeah, I am. I'm the girl who lived long enough to say I did it. And my family is DEA, Border Patrol, and IRS. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine. I am proud to be an American. I am proud to now move from the Republican Party to the Tea Party tonight and honor anything that the next president and the mayor of our city can do. And I am on fire for the Tea Party now. I am jumping ship. Yay! So, I have to stand up. Um, single mom, AFDC, Medi-Cal, Medicare for years, and yeah, I got... 20 years back pay, my, my stickers, my stripes, all that is nothing to me. I care about people who come home now with no arms and legs and people don't come and visit them in hospitals where their girlfriends and their spouses won't love them and say, who will love me now? I'm, I'm missing an arm and leg and they're up here at Balboa and at the Veterans VA with, with titanium legs running marathons. And that's what we care about. We care about men and women who come home and their families and their children their aunts, their uncles, their grandparents, because we're all connected in one thing, America. So let's get this race going and let's do something with the Tea Party. Thank right. you. Yeah. Right. Staff Sergeant, I have to clarify that we are grateful for you. Yes. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Last 